what is up it is Berlin happy Thursday welcome or welcome back to my channel this is gonna be a bit more of an upbeat video than my last one hope you guys have all had a great day we are here to get into some drama some major major massive huge drama today really huge drama because you know there have been some things going on that we got to get into oh my god okay first things first right this is like major major important missing yaks girl missing yaks right so there's the yak there so why are we talking about missing yaks well we're talking about missing yaks because jeffree star came out on not instagram because that got taken down on snapchat and he said oh my god the star yak ranch instagram is gone he said we still got the facebook but the instagram is gone so me like a good little soldier I've been out on the streets with this, printing these off and showing people there's a one million dollar reward for if you find Jeffrey's yaks from Instagram. So Instagram, I don't know, what is going on? Why did they take the Star Yak Ranch account? Is it because Jeffrey's cutting up his yaks and eating them? I don't know. I genuinely don't but but this little yak here what's her name birthday blessing beach ball um bollock i don't know i don't know what her name is but we've got a yak here missing yaks reward one million dollars right all clear good yes very professional posters that i've printed off here right in my search go and do me and the team doing our investigation to look for Jeffree Star's missing yaks, you know, and this is very topical right now. Very topical missing yaks because Shane Dawson has also been on social media. He's been on Snapchat and Instagram sharing with us that he is going to be dropping a new series very soon. It's going to be like a three part series. When it looks like it's going to be a three part series with Jeffree Star. Jeffrey and Shane on the ranch riding horses, living the simple life like Paris Hilton and Nicole Ritchie. Jeffrey, wig whipping in the wind, you know, all of that stuff. Oh, girl, how did I do that? Anyway, wig whipping in the wind, riding horses, herding yaks that have now gone missing. Yes, sorry, this video is chaos. But, you know, that is what you're getting today from me. I've done like a little bit more of a miserable video and now I'm like, I've got to get into some chaos because girl, it's been too long. It's been too long before I came on here and had fun. And if you guys don't know me, one of the very first videos that I made talking about beauty drama on this channel was actually talking about Jaclyn Hill's hairy lipstick. And I remember at the time I made like a little mock-up lipstick. I stuck feathers and false nails in it and all that stuff. I had a research department then, different ones, different ones. They got fired because they weren't very good. But these ones, top banana. They're very good, they are. Been out helping me all day, they have, with the investigation to find Jeffree Star's missing Star Yak Ranch Yaks. Yes. Speaking of Jeffree Star, actually, I started my second jar of the Jeffree Star moisturiser today. Look, brand new one. This is my second jar of it. So here, on the back up here, I've got my empty one. Look, here we go. She's finished, girl. She's finished. What I will say about, like, Jeffrey's moisturizers and stuff, I wish that he'd made these as, like, refillable containers because this is a really nice little pot, really nice little container, nice little jar, you know. So I wish that instead of, like, buying this jar again, I wish we could buy refills for this like you can with some of Rihanna's skincare, you know? Just a thought, like, because to me, this seems quite kind of wasteful to the environment to buy all this plastic. Like, I love the cream inside. The cream inside is gorge on my face. It doesn't cause a reaction or anything. Really just a nice, like, day moisturizer. So it's a shame that, like, 
this isn't in a refillable version because I would really love that because like it's a lot you know a lot of plastic like and that's kind of a little bit wasteful and damaging for the environment I think just me personally I know but I do love the cream and like I say that's my second part of it so I'm like okay Jeffrey very good you know with the skincare and everything but just a shame that the packaging isn't more like sustainable you know anyway that's my thoughts on that but we're gonna get into some more drama because i've actually got some drag drama that i want to put in this video as well deja sky now deja sky from season 14 of rupaul's drag race actually called somebody out on tiktok because they made a tiktok kind of shading her and saying like oh how was she the lip sync assassin of season 14 whatever well deja sky clapped Back. Do you guys remember when Deja Sky was so convinced that she was the lip sync assassin? Why are girls so proud of that? That just means you're doing terrible. I got time today. Um, see this person? Hi, her beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. Uh, her name is RuPaul. Yeah, Ru RuPaul, I'm um, Andre Charles. Yeah, she's the one. RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, you know that clip that you got because you were um, obviously watching the show season 14. Hey, shout out to you. Um, she's actually the one that called me a lip sync assassin. Uh, I didn't call myself a lip sync assassin because I don't need to do that. <laughs> but she, hi, good morning, hello, mother. Mwah. She's the one that called me a lip sync assassin. Um, and the other thing that you're saying in the video is basically something along the lines of like, why is she so proud um, of that? Well, I'm proud because on my first showing, my first episode, my first time being in the bottom, two, I was only there twice, I got called a lipstick assassin by the person whose name is on the show. I think that's something to be proud of, to be honest with you. You wouldn't know what that is because unfortunately you're not on the show. I'm sure you've auditioned, you know, because <laughs> you're uh, looking at us from afar. Um, but from your channel, I think what you like to do is kind of give out your opinions and stuff like that. Everyone's entitled to them. It's just yours is, you know, irrelevant and shit. And baby, I stay in my lane. I'm really that person that just tries to focus on positivity. But seeing a video like this, it really did kind of make me like, what are you, what exactly are you talking about? I feel like you're just kind of spewing something you know out there like you could have easily talked about like oh you know my snatch game or or my shoulder pads or you know plenty of other things but what you chose to do is try to capitalize on a moment that really meant a lot to me and a lot to other people but i can see by just watching your channel that's the person that you are you know and to some people in the comments you know i see what you guys are doing there. And I understand because to you who are in culture, you probably say death drop instead of dip. Um, I may not be a lipstick assassin to you because I don't do a split or I don't buck. Or did you want me to do any of that during the fallen lip sync? I'm, I'm slightly confused. I've only been to the bottom twice and um, I had a really good record on the show, but an amazing performer has stage presence. An amazing performer knows when to pull out what they need to pull out. That's a smart entertainer. An amazing performer. There are stunt queens and there are performers. I just happen to be a performer. And I happen to make an impression on RuPaul, Andre Charles, of RuPaul's Drag Race. Not TikToker unknown on TikTok. Now you have a nice day. Bye bye now. Woo! Spicy, right? Getting spicy there. Deja Sky getting spicy. I'm like, mm. I agree with it though. You know, I agree with it because at the end of the day, that TikTok account, all it is, is just like putting opinions out about drag race or whatever. You know, it's not like, like a drag performer doing that or anything. You know, I am not a drag performer. I just do silly looks, you know, so I don't claim to be any kind of drag performer or anything like that, you know. I come over here, I do my little drama channel, you know, and all of that. I do my makeup videos, that kind of thing. But, you know, I'm here for the way that Deja clapped back. Let me know what you guys think about the way that Deja Sky clapped back to that person on TikTok. I think it's good, you know, because to me, sometimes I kind of see the RuPaul's Drag Race fandom as a little bit toxic you know they are very much like they will ride for their favorites but then like you know they'll drag other girls and it's like it always seems to be like 
young people who kind of idolize you know the sort of twinky looking queens and they will ride hard for those queens and then it will be like anyone else's shit girl please you know no like i think it's like a lot of young kids you know i've been around a bit i've been out on the drag scene you know i've tipped queens at shows i've tipped other acts at shows you know whatever it's like the only thing for me that bugs me with rupaul's drag race is the fact that they don't have any kings on the show like where are the drag kings in the judging seat on rupaul's drag race where are the drag kings in the judges seat where are the drag kings in the actual competition why are drag kings not allowed to compete in rupaul's drag race we've had victoria scone who was of course uh a fab woman on rupaul's drag race competing on the uk seasons we've had um you know trans girls competing we've had a trans man we've got mick on one of the american seasons but like where is the love for drag kings you know that really pisses me off that is something that really pisses me off because i find that drag race tends to put out like you know drag as being a very one-sided art form when you've got like all of this with drag kings and non-binary performers who don't want to identify as female you know who are showing you something else they're giving you something different you know you've got shows like dragula which dragula just announced titans now i am so fucking pissed that i can't watch dragula titans because the cast is oh the cast is making me want to pee myself and scream and shout it is that good the cast for dragula titans do yourselves a favor if you live in america or somewhere where you can get shudder do yourselves a favor and watch dragula titans because that is going to be incredible that comes out like october 25th but girl that's going to be incredible because the people performing on there you've got abora you've got erica clash you've got yovska you know really good people kendra onyx I am so happy that Kendra Onyx is back because Kendra was another one that I loved on season two of Dragula when you could still watch Dragula on YouTube. Girl. Abora, Kendra, Erica Clash was another one I loved on Dragula. So, like, I'm really happy to see the cast. They've got Victoria Elizabeth Black back. Like, the cast that they've got for Dragula Titans is incredible. Like, and Dragula as a show, they've had kings on before they've had land and cider they've had performers like hollow eve you know i feel that dragula is much more kind of diverse with the casting and i feel like the fans are not quite so toxic as like the rupaul's drag race fans so for me dragula feels more homely and more welcoming i don't know that's just my personal opinion you know i love dragula full stop but it feels more welcoming as a fandom and i've been out to dragula events with the brothers hosting and stuff and really enjoyed them you know it's different it's a different crowd to the drag race crowd for sure absolutely but you know all respect to deja sky for sticking up for herself and saying what she said to that person on tiktok you know my only criticism like i say with drag race is the fact that they don't include kings or other kind of styles and you know other kind of gender representation in drag the fact that it's kind of just all about oh you know queens and that's it i would love to see some drag kings given an opportunity in the judging seats or in the competition whatever you know just give us some fucking representation you know that is what i want anyway guys take care of yourselves love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next one take care Bye.